You have completed your courses successfully. Now all that is standing between you and the life you want is kickstarting your career. Whether it is for campus recruitment or to apply elsewhere, your CV is your calling card, intro page, and the first step in convincing any recruiter to look at your direction. Of course, most of us know the general do's and don'ts when it comes to writing a CV. Correct spelling, grammar, and punctuations are key. While sending a CV out in a pink sheet of paper with the picture of you is not going to do any good, unless you are applying for an audition. However, in between using pre-made templates in the word processors and copying your senior CV, every new graduate applicant makes several mistakes that will seriously affect their chances of getting hired. Here are some of such mistakes and how to avoid them. I understand that you have a very popular name and getting a Gmail or Outlook address with that name is impossible. But that is not an excuse to use an email id such as sexyrockstar975 at gmail.com On your CV, it might have looked cool in your high school scrapbook, but in the professional arena, it makes you seem like an immature and unprofessional person. It is okay if your CV is just one page. However, writing a multiple page CV to impress your recruiter will only backfire. A short and to the point CV shows the effort you put it into for editing and formatting. A good rule of thumb is to keep your CV in two pages if possible. A CV must be brief to the point presentation of a candidate profile. When writing a CV, bullet points are your friend, and the reader will find it much easier to absorb the information. You wrote on your CV that you were the editor of the college magazine. Even though that is impressive, to convince the recruiter of your abilities always summarize the responsibilities and accomplishments you made in that role. Team player, fast learner, organized, hardworking, etc. are the words that can be found in any CV or cover letter. And most recruiters have seen a lot of these in their career, that they can immediately identify your CV as too generic. The ideal thing to do is to mention a result you accomplished being as a team player or using your fast learning skills. Let me make it simple, always stick with Arial or Times New Roman as fonts. Why may you ask? There might be a huge chance that the recruiter may not be using the same application or even operating system you used to write the CV. Opening a Word file in any other word processor or even on a computer which doesn't have the fancy font you used installed will make your formatting messy and unreadable. Arial and Times New Roman are pre-installed universally making it a safe choice.